so I think it's uh, it's time to it's time to start walking. I should be able to spot the beacon Parker lit for me. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there it is. There's the communications mast. Good job, Parker. I better start walking before my feet go numb. Just my luck. Of all the places on this frozen lump of ice, I end up on the wrong side of this damn gorge. There's no way I'm getting across or around this on foot. Gorge. That's a that's a pretty gorge. A pretty wide gorge is cutting through the landscape. It goes on for tens if not hundreds of kilometers in both directions. Anyhow, there's no way I'm getting around it on foot. Gotcha. The walls are too steep and crumbly to climb. I don't think I would consider climbing down there anyway. Yeah, I'd probably get stuck in there. A pile of equipment is partially buried in the snow. Most of it is drill segments. Everything in there weighs several, several tons and is covered in snow. Can I still get it, though? Doesn't go there. The drill rig. It used to be where we spent most of the day. Drilling holes, moving a few meters, dr drilling again. That is, when we weren't do doing repairs. And there was usually something to repair. I wonder if this piece of junk still works. It's been freezing over for a few days. There seems to be at least some power left. Awesome. I think this is gonna be, you know, my way across. Awesome. Turn crane. All right. Lower it. The magnet doesn't seem to work. Calibrate gyro. Let's see what this does. Nothing. Oops. <laughs> that pile of gear is pretty firmly stuck in the snow. Good thing the counterweight system is working properly. So that's not good. The counterweight is ke keeping the rig from tilting any further. The magnet is not letting go when the rig is tilted like this. Counterweight. Alright. It keeps the rig from falling over when the crane is lifting heavy things. I can't reach it from here. Can I turn the crane or something? Calibrate gyro. What the hell does that do? I get the feeling that I need to pick up this gear. But it's too stuck in there. Can I go to the counterweight now? I'm not walking that close to the edge. The snow... Okay, so I need to get the counterweight to be on this side so I can inspect it. This should do it. Counterweight. It folds out whenever the crane is lifting something heavy. It's just a block of metal and concrete. I can't do anything with it. Hoses. I don't think so. The pressure would blow my hand off if I managed to pull out one of these hoses. Alright, so n not a good- oh, hey! How are you supposed to see that pin? The counterweight is secured with a thick metal pin. Gimme? I can't get it out. 
I want to get it out, though. Okay, I got the safety pin out. Who needs safety? No point. I already have a metal bar. But you could have two! Aw. Oh, adventure game characters never think of the future, you know? Okay, so the safety is off, which is recommended, I guess. Now let's wreck some havoc. I thought I took out the counterweight thing. So I'm getting kind of what I have to do. I basically will go over the gorge on this rig arm. It's just a matter of defeating the stupid counterweight. Oh! Oh, that's what I had to do. The magnet pulled out the counterweight. The rig just became a lot less safe. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, this is gonna be dangerous. The rig is still pretty stable even after the counterweight fell off. Well, I just need to go back, lower it, turn the crane, pick up the magnet, maybe, and go that away and low lower it. And there we go! We, <laughs> we made a little bridge. I guess I was pushing my luck there. You were. This is by far my worst idea ever. It'll be fine. Right. Back to the camp. So I'm back on square one. I thought I had seen the last of this place. Nope. It's so quiet down there. Funny. Parker always finds a way to make noise. They're probably just asleep. Come to think of it, I really have no idea what time it is. It's okay, it's probably pretty early though. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that they're so relaxed about me almost dying out there. The camp is unusually quiet. I suppose I should find the others. It controls various parts of the antenna. There's also a few- oh no. A fuse box. They're used to hang a key from a string on the side. I can see a string, but no key. Better leave it alone. The mask needs to work properly or the rescue people won't find their way here. Okay. I see fuse box. I see future puzzle. So let's see what happened in the camp, since it's so quiet. I'm sure they're they're gonna be so happy to see me again. My buddies. Tent. Toolbox. It's an old squeaky toolbox. Gimme. I got metal shears. Anything else? Nothing but strange and useless tools in there. Lovely. The front chassis is just as, is just half of the actual machinery. The rest is hidden in the closed off back room. I can tell they are on by the gentle humming sound. Cute. No need. The generators are already running. Why am I here? I saw a pipe right there. These pipes are cold and covered in condensation. Okay, so we probably shouldn't mess with this room too much. The lid is locked with screws. I do have a washer. The washer would probably get the screws out, but there's no reason to open the box. In fact, it would be potentially dangerous, but I'll remember it for next time. Because we're probably going to have to do it soon. Next tent. It's locked. 
It always is. Chen is the only one entrusted with a key. Alright. Tarp. What's under the tarp, eh? Nothing useful. Oh, there was behind the tent. Damn it. What's this? An all-round computer terminal. Bench. Combined stove and kitchen. Leaves burn marks on everybody's forearms at some point. This is not a good time for cooking. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you wouldn't want a nice sandwich right now. You'd have to be really hungry to want anything from there, and I'm not. That box is maintaining the temperature in here. I can't operate it. Okay. I don't really want to keep anything useful in here. Chen's locker. Ad was mine. Parker's. Most of her stuff is on the workbench anyway. Well, as predicted, they're all locked. The top one is Parker's bed. Okay, so these are just living chambers. Okay, is this like a... Oh, it is the bathroom. Lovely. A hole. It will... It will turn pretty much anything you put in it into ashes. That's pretty... Actually, pretty cool. This water smells like ammonia and takes a lifetime to get warm. Sounds healthy. An ordinary shower hose. I'm leaving the handle. I'm just wrecking this place. They're gonna be so pissed. Somebody's long johns, or whatever it is, are hanging to dry on a piece of wire. Gimme. Gimme, gimme. This wire may be useful. Screw the long johns. I can live without the laundry. Anything else on the, the bunk beds? I'm not tired enough to sleep in Chen's bed. Wait a minute. Aha! What's this? Oily Stallions Illustrated. Ugh. Looks like Chen's been hiding contraband literature in her mattress. Aw, naughty. I found a copy of Oily Stallions. Disturbing. I didn't take it with me, though. I think I've had enough of Oily Stallions for a while. Parker's not hiding any Oily Stallions. Fine, let's go to the next tent. What about this screen and controls? It seems to be locked. I didn't know you could do that. Apparently you can. Levels are looking okay. There's no need to mess with the environment unit for now. Behind the tent. Okay. Some old broken boxes. They're all emptied. I checked them when I put them there the other day. I think I'll leave it. An empty gas container, the bin. You didn't even look. Nothing but ashes. So this is where all the poop goes. A bin for various scrap. It's always full of useful <laughs> items. This could be useful. What is it? A radio. Who would throw that away? Come on. I'm sure you can pretty much fix anything. It looks pretty broken. All right. I, I tried to fix it by putting a wire in it. I've, I've got a lot of items now. I'm, I'm quite happy. Okay, so let's get out of here. Last tent. Oh, that's an annoying sound. Strange. Carbon and oxygen levels are not regulated at all in here. I wonder if they're trying to save energy or something. But why leave the big lights outside on? That doesn't make any sense. The same type of breathing mask that I'm wearing. It basically filters out bad things and tops up with oxygen and whatever. The filter unit has been removed. <gasps> this mask used to be identical to mine, but Parker can never use anything without modifying it in some way or another. So this one has all kinds of homemade cameras, lenses, tubes, and little blinking lights. No wonder the breathing functions gave up. 
The filter unit has been removed. I wonder if she fixed it. Maybe. Can I get some of her tools? I should ask Parker. Fine. Can I mess with her desk? The drawers are locked. Okay. Oh, the People's Mining Company. Please enter login and password. I don't... Ooh. Oh. Name and password. Unknown login. Okay, so I don't know what that is. It's a box full of tiny mineral samples. I don't need it. A jar. It's a glass jar full of syringe needles. Gimme? <gasps> Whoa! Parker? Dead. Dead and cold. She must have died just after answering my mayday call. Breathing equipment is acting up, she said. Seems more like the whole environment system has gone offline. Damn it, Parker! Okay, this is awkward. I'm just gonna borrow these, okay? Get a grip, Korsky. She's dead. She doesn't care, and she can't hear you. Because she's dead. So she got suffocated. It's some kind of spec chart for components. Surf these. Surf these. Okay. Probably important. Can I take them with me, please? Swap these. Okay, so I need to swap 448 and 449. She was trying to fix some filters, I guess. Books on science. A container for compressed flammable gas. It's a mix of propane and butane, if I remember things right. Oh, she gave me a key. Well, I kind of took the key. It probably opens her drawers, if you know what I mean. Database. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Access restricted. Great. Note to self. Gotta have Chen change her password to a proper one. She's still using her own tag number. How stupid can you get? But with the addition of some dirty magazine she's been reading in the bathroom lately. I still cracked it in 30 seconds. Let's just hope the higher-ups don't decide on a system stress test anytime soon. Okay, so I think I know her password. Note to self. The morons at the materials department must have mixed up ref numbers again. No rocket science, but it took me a good hour to figure out just where they messed up. This would give the following assembly chart. Okay, numbers. Of course, 447 needs to be in there as well, or the damn thing will fall apart, obviously. Obviously. No data. Restricted. Two messages. Parker, for the last time, stop breaking into my workstation account. I don't care if you call it security checks or stress tests or whatever. You don't have clearance, so you're still breaking in. Do you know the penalty for hacking company systems? I looked it up. Six months flat for non-first-time offenders, i.e. another six months of correction per break-in, if I would start making formal reports of it. I figured getting this in writing might work better for you, since verbal information tends to escape your attention. I'm sorry, we're just messing and messing around in your account. Our analysis of your previous samples and test results has not been enough to convince the management. This makes June shipment extremely important since it potentially means green light for a full type 1 mining operation. Was that the one we were trying to get to them? especially since your field report on the last drill cores gave such promising data. It's therefore vital to the project that the June shipment arrives on schedule. I cannot stress the importance of this enough. Great. Well, we failed. Anything else? In the trash? No, that's pretty much it. Bad idea. Okay. 
Shutting down the workstation would probably lock it as well. I'll keep it open. So she's dead. Parker is dead. I better talk to the others. Yeah, what about the others? Don't know what's in it. Look in the box. Nothing useful, just paper. It's full of thick syringe needles. Why not? Just put it one in your pocket. You're wearing like three suits. But now I can open her desk. It doesn't go there. Why not? Drawers are locked. Oh, I thought this would open the drawers. So, name. I don't know her number though. Oh, it was it was there. It was there. It was totally there. One one four zero one oh eight. Now I just have to remember this. Well, I got the correct username. Uh, what was the password? Parker, help me out on this again. She's using her own tag number with the dirty magazine. Got it. It's pretty easy. And one one four zero one oh eight. Damn it. Is it her tag number first? Hmm. I think it was that order with the oily stallions. Hey, there we go. Hacking into her account. Local list of inmates and functions. So he's a geologist. She's the camp administrator. We're a pilot and unqualified technician, and Parker was a technician. Detailed inmate data must be requested for corrections department. No notes. No research. Okay, the system. Message has been auto-corrected in line with corrections edificatory guidelines. <laughs> Where the unsuited are you, Chen? I've been trying to find you all morning. We need to go through the shipment today. So wherever you're at, tuck away your pornography and get your pretty little butt over here pronto. I'm in the lab. You know, the tent where you're supposed to be working? So who sent this? Parker. Okay, so she got a message from Parker. Maybe Chen killed her because she doesn't want to work. No documents. We already saw this. We know what everyone was. Deleted since 1st of June. Trash bin is cleared out at the end of each month. I don't know what this means. Oh, they're messages. Progress to you. There has been some unforeseen development since our last update. Things that have to be handled with great discretion. I received a report from the statistics department this morning, which showed that we are about to overstep the estimated result plan for the project. This is a major problem. Since result plans are integrated with department funding bases and cannot be revised on the fly. In other words, if your results exceed expectations, company will cut down our budget. For me, this will indubitably lead to unofficial disciplinary actions from the management. For you, as camp administrator, it will most likely mean no reduced sentence, since the project will be labeled as a failure. What? And a future at one of corrections facilities. I trust you realize how serious the situation is and that you know what step needs to be taken. Okay. I do not care how you solve this, but the original June samples mu must not leave the camp. You will also have to perform a complete on-site mainframe wipe to remove any traces of this correspondence. So we were doing our job too well. And Chen killed Parker. Do not save this message. Do not write any of this down. Do not discuss this matter with anyone. Comrade Nayar. Hey Chen, just need to double check something, but I'm sending this as private just in case. We managed to scrape together all your requests for next shipment pretty easily. Not that much on the list this time. However, that magazine you ask for, sh that shipping system gives me warning beeps about it. Doesn't look like blacklist, so it's not contraband or anything, but I think we're dancing on the outer edge of corrections edificatory literature policy. So it's your call, really. It won't be a penal offense on my end. 
So she really, really wanted that porn mag. <clears throat> you know perfectly well it's my job to perform workstation security checks. <laughs> so what is your problem? And why aren't you at your desk? Oh, by the way, if you threaten me again, I'll break your nose. You tell her, Parker. Oh, wait, you're dead. She killed you. So Chen was assigned to sabotage this shipment I was carrying. I believe she has some explaining to do. She knew about it. She planted something in the boxes. Better go find her. Looking through Chen's recent mail revealed that she was assigned by project officer to sabotage the shipment I was carrying. And we caught her kind of in the act just before we, we were leaving. <laughs> 